welcome to elite with dashforcast.com youtube channel my name is henry today is tuesday july 14 the time is around 3 a.m gmt uh, today we will be looking at the chart of es this is s and p 500 e mini futures um it's a 60 minute chart here so what we have here is uh, the index ended of five waves up uh, ended with one over here right we ended with one over here and currently in the process of the in the process of correction within the wave 2 uh, so far the the first leg of the pullback looks to be impulsive so it should be ending only in the first leg with A and then uh, we can get a bounce followed by another leg lower with C to finish this entire risk correction then from here we get a chance to uh, resume higher again okay now let's uh, zoom out a little bit to get a little bit of a context about uh, the move here if we take a look at the 4 hour chart uh, zooming out so uh, I'm going to place this 3, 4, 5, 1 and 2 in the 4 hour chart so this is your 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 so that, that has to be a 1 here, 1 in red so we are talking about 5 waves move here from June 15 low right from June 15 low you have one two three four five now so far we have not really broken above this previous peak yet but if you take a look at SPX which is the cash right uh, which trades only within the trading hours uh, now in the SPX cash we did break above that previous peak now the futures has not but in cash it has already broken above it okay so that suggests that it has already made a new high uh, basically in the cash uh, so currently we are now within the wave 2 uh, so if it is a wave 2 then that basically that means we are correcting this 5 way smooth here okay in an ABC and then as far as we stay above technically this June 15 we can extend higher again so as you can see this is only with 1 so we are looking for some sort of 5 way smooth from June 15 so now from the larger context we got two important lows uh, one is the June 15 lows which is basically in the start of that five ways move second uh, the second low which is the more important low is going to be in the March low uh, this is the COVID-19 low okay so if you take a look here we are still within a big sort of cycle from March low uh, within the same cycle since we bought them uh, you know uh, a few months ago alright and currently if you want to consider this entire move here as like a five waves right as a five waves up so this is probably already within sort of with five from here so we can you know I there is no uh, label here but you can consider this you know some sort of one two and then this is three four and then now within the wave five right so we are uh, possibly within the wave five uh, from the March but uh, from the June we may still continue to extend so the June low is going to be key here right it's going to be key and as far as we stay above here we can continue uh, to see further upside over there right so that's what we're looking uh, so alternate alternate uh, is going to be now in the case of ES since we have not broken above here right we missed it by a few sort of points um, so technically we have not gotten the confirmation the next leg higher has started in ES so technically until we break above here we cannot rule out like double top or you know double correction whatever you want to call it we cannot rule that out SPX however if you take a look at SPX it has already broken above let me show you SPX SPX um, the cash a similar uh, structure right it has a similar structure to the uh, to ES okay let me see here should be I don't know why it converts to three minutes all right so SPX same thing you also have uh, March 24 COVID-19 low and you also got secondary low here June uh, June 16 similar to ES and the only difference here is for SPX it has already broken above this so if you take a look at SPX here this one is 
32, 33 and this one is uh, 32, 35 so we have already broken above it uh, so technically this is going to be in the key um, pivot here June 16 also showing similar to ES 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right so as far as we stay above June 16 this three pullback still can find support and extend higher now what about SPX uh, is there an alternate well the alternate again this move here likely is still part of the same move from March COVID-19 low so if you consider this some sort of 3 with 3 from here from March and this is June 16 so we are with 4 so we are possibly already within the wave 5 from the uh, March 24 so if we are within the wave 5 right suppose uh, you know we are ending one here right and this is 1 2 3 4 5 right uh, the alternate is that even though we do get a break above here in the SPX the alternate is this 5 ways up it could be instead of with 105 it could be your entire with 5 of uh, the move from March 24 so we could have upgrade the degree like this this could be over 5 and then we starts to finish you know the cycle from March low but there's really no point for you to pick the top uh, in this bullish market what more, what more can you say uh, if you take a look at Tesla look at Tesla how it behaves right there is really no point in trying to pick the top in this kind of market um, now we understand the alternate we could be ending the March low but there's no point to speculate oh it's gonna top out right now right so uh, currently uh, the trend remains firmly to the upside okay high-tech stocks especially uh, so now looking for any kind of pullback to hold right above this June 16 and currently it seems like the pullback still in ongoing is still incomplete seems like uh, so it se seems like it's only only the first leg right now in ES. Yeah, so expect some sort of trace pullback here uh, before the next leg higher starts again in the ES. Alright, so I hope that this video helps. And as always, if you want to check our service, we have 14 days free trial. Um, the link to the trial is provided in the description of the video below. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. Have a nice day to you all.